Hi, Luna. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the vlog and welcome to this episode of Skip Dashing. Hi. I don't have toilet paper. No toilet paper. No. No toilet paper. Virus, virus, virus. Virus this, virus that. All right, guys, if this is your first time here, you might as well take the time and hit that subscribe button down below. Don't forget to hit the bell when you hit that subscribe button and also give this video a thumbs up and uh, every little bit is helpful and appreciated. All right, guys, virus scare, virus scare, virus scare. That's all we hear about. I listened to the radio today. It's all about the corona, COVID virus, social media. That's all it's about. And it's uh, definitely quite overwhelming, but um, yeah, it's a thing. I mean, it's uh, today the uh, NHL was shut down, the NBA, lots of different sports things. Uh, in our province here, the health minister just before I left the house gave a report and uh, any gathering over 250 people is shut down. There's some exceptions with like um, churches and things like that, but uh, it's getting pretty crazy. I'm not overly surprised that it's getting crazy, but I'm not really concerned about it at all. So anyways, guys, we've got a four hour shift tonight in the central east zone. So again, this is the second night in a row that I'm out of my normal zone. So it is four o'clock, well, it's actually 4.11 right now. And uh, just taking Vienna to dance, got to drop her off. And then once we drop her off at dance, I will be really, really close to the zone. So um, in my previous video, I got sucked into the downtown vortex. Uh, I wouldn't be surprised if that happens again tonight, but again, we're accepting every single order and we'll see how this goes. I will chime in guys when I do get my first order. Okay guys, got the first order. It's 4.30. I was just making it down to the main shopping area here and I got this order. It is at McDonald's in Riverbend. So we did a couple of these the other night when I did the uh, other shift in this zone. Uh, the order is worth $6.75 and it's going 4.3 kilometers. So I'm a couple minutes away here. Let's go. All right guys, we are just pulling into the McDonald's parking lot here and the snow has begun. There's a uh, snowstorm forecasted starting tonight going on into the weekend. So it's Thursday tonight, so it uh, goes till tomorrow. Saturday's super cold, so it should be, I'm thinking, a busy night and a busy tomorrow and a busy Saturday, busy weekend. So this is good. Anyways, we're here at McDonald's. All right, guys, order was actually ready to go. Good job, McDonald's, you're doing good. This one so far, far is two for two or three for three. I can't remember how many of these orders I did the other night here. Okay, so customer is in Riverbend and she is six minutes, 1.5 kilometers away. Let's go. Okay guys, order's done. Sorry, my wife's just texting me about this whole coronavirus stuff. All right, that order is delivered. Got another order right away. Holy man, Cravings Market on Fairmount Drive. Don't know if I know where this is. And then it's going to Bona Vista. So the order is worth $10.08 and it's 8.3 kilometers. So we're gonna accept that one. And this last order was 675 so 375 transit three dollars tip total of 675 so we are headed to uh cravings market and it's 10 minutes 6.9 kilometers away let's go all right guys actually have picked up here before cravings um it's like a market thing it's actually pretty i've eaten here before too it's actually a pretty nice place so Anyways, going inside to grab this. Uh, it's supposed to be collected at 4.53, it's 4.55, so it should be ready. All right guys, order was ready to go. Okay, we are ready to drive. 
And this person is probably not, uh, they're not super close. Oh yeah, they're in, they're actually in Acadia is where they are. So this is where I grew up, going back home. All right, seven minutes, 4.1 kilometers away. Let's go. Mm. All right, guys, uh, nice place. This building is uh, it's itchy back. This building is beautiful. I'm not sure if it's just for old folks or if it's for everybody, but yeah, it's awesome. You walk in, there's a pool and I mean, I won't, whatever. You guys probably don't care, but it was really nice. Okay, so that order's done. That was a decent little order. Another order right away. It's, it's, I think it's gonna be busy with everything going on in the world right now. This weekend is gonna be pretty insane. Okay, so this next order is at Faux Asia. Um, I have no idea where it is, but it's 9737 McLeod Trail. Should actually be quite close. And uh, then it's going somewhere, I don't know where it's going. So it's $9.70, 10.3 kilometers. Gonna accept it, because we're accepting everything. And uh, the restaurant is seven minutes, two kilometers away. Let's go. All right, guys, we made it, Foasia. I have a feeling that this is the wrong address. There he is. Hey, how are ya? All right, so I got him his order. He was in a restaurant. Got another order right away. Okay, Mary Brown's chicken and taters. I think this is this is going to be the same restaurant we picked up from the other night. And I have no idea where it's going. So it's eight dollars and sixty-four cents, eight point six kilometers. We're going to accept that one. And I'll show you these last ones here, guys. So the cravings one, four thirty for transit, five seventy-eight for tip. And then this Faux Asia one, six seventy for transit, three dollars for tip for nine seventy. So that is where we are at, and we are headed to Mary Brown's Chicken and Taters. We will be there in four minutes. Okay, guys, order was uh, just had to wait about two minutes in there. wasn't too bad. Okay, this fellow is. <laughs> I'm sure driving all over the place tonight. This is crazy. Uh, it just, it feel, when you're not in your normal zone, it just feels like you're driving all over the place, right? Like just the distance I'm covering feels like it's a lot longer, but it really isn't that bad. So, um, okay, this guy is 10 minutes, 7.4 kilometers away, and he is in Ogden area. Let's go. All right, guys, sorry about all that. I was actually on a phone call when I got to that last delivery and uh, I've been on the phone ever since. So I got another order, it's at Ito Japan. We're here, we picked it up. Uh, that last order, the Mary Brown's chicken order was 864, 485 transit, 379 for tip. Uh, and now we are leaving Ito Japan and we are ready to drive. And I think this fellow's at a business. It says bring it to reception, they'll bring it to me. Um, quite close. I don't know what business it is, but we're four minutes, 1.2 kilometers away. Let's go. Oh. All right, guys, I think it's busy, busy, busy right now. Okay, that order's delivered. Got another order right away. It's kind of a crappy order. It's at Dairy Queen, um, close to here. Then it's going to Riverbend. So it's 585, but it's been bumped up to 650. Uh, and it's an eight kilometer order, so a little bit lame. But we're gonna accept everything, because that's what we do. 
So that's been accepted. So this last order from Edo was $3.50 for transit, $1 for top up, $2 for tip. So that's that one. We're sitting at 41.67 right now, it's 6.23. So we still have an hour and a half left on this shift. And the Dairy Queen is four minutes, 2.6 kilometers away. Let's go. Okay guys, order is picked up. This fellow says, text me when you're outside. Shouldn't say fellow. It's a girl or a guy's name. Okay, we are ready to drive and they are in Riverbend, 10 minutes, 5.4 kilometers away. Let's go. All right guys, order is done. Got my hand sanitizer wipes as per my wife's request big tub of them all right nothing to joke around with okay so that order's done come on so I'm actually out of my zone right now so you can see down there so I'll head back into my zone that order was six dollars and fifty cents of so 45 transit 65 cents top up one dollar tip we're sitting at $48.17 at 6.42. This shift goes till eight o'clock. So let's head a little bit north and see what happens. All right, guys, we got another order. Uh, it's been a little while since the last one. Uh, this one's at La La Vietnamese Restaurant. It's on uh, Center Street South. I don't really know where it is, but uh, I accepted the order. So I am eight minutes, 7.7 .7 kilometers away. Uh, the order is worth $6.50 and it is 5.6 kilometers, which obviously doesn't make any sense because I need to drive to the restaurant, which is 7.6 kilometers. So I think it was pulling my, my GPS from quite a bit further south from where I am. Anyways, it seems like the skip uh, system's been kind of messed up tonight with that stuff. So, all right, on our way to La La Vietnamese restaurant. Let's go. All right, guys, there's a bit of a wait in there, uh, which was fine because I had to have a nice little bathroom break, so that worked out well. And I had a good chat with the uh, the restaurant fellow in there. Um, a couple times popped up on my phone to extend my shift, which well, just disappeared. So I think I'm, I don't know, I'm undecided right now if I'll extend my shift, but we'll see. Okay, so this, I don't think this is going very far. This person's name is pretty crazy. <laughs> no, it's not going far at all. It's going down the road a little bit to another business. So uh, one minute, 600 meters away, let's go. <clears throat> okay guys, that order's done. And of course, the next order I get, I'm getting sucked into downtown. <sighs> it's fun accepting every single order. Okay, this order is at Midori, Mid Midori Japanese Cafe, uh, 10th Street and 17th Avenue. And it's going somewhere downtown, I'm not sure. So it's 1065, 8.5 kilometers. Um, this last order was six dollars and fifty cents so 350 transit 286 tip 14 uh, cents top up so that's it we're headed to this midori japanese which stinks because now i'm sucked into downtown and it takes me longer to get home anyways this is 13 minutes 6.5 kilometers away let's go all right, guys, we are down here on 17th Ave. We have a bit of a walk down there, um, but we found a decent parking spot. So let's go. Oh. All right, guys, order was ready. I know she's in an apartment because she says the buzzer number. 
Okay, so we're going into like the core of downtown. So eight minutes, 2.4 kilometers away, let's go. <clears throat> All right guys, took a little bit to get up there, about five, six minutes, but that order's done. Um, I actually canceled my shift extension, so I, uh, I'm just, I'm good with tonight. I have some things I want to do and didn't want to work past eight o'clock. So um, I actually didn't get another order right away, which is weird, but uh, there's only 17 minutes left on the shift. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make my way home. I've got quite a drive now to get home. So it's 25 minutes, 30 kilometers. So I'll be home about 8.15 and uh, I'll do the summary when we get home. All right, guys, made it home safe and sound. Uh, it's 8.11 right now, so I got home a little quicker than I thought. Um, anyways, let's summarize tonight. So, you know what? Honestly, I really don't enjoy doing the Central East zone. A um, lot of extra driving. It takes me extra driving to get there. It um, takes me extra driving to get home because I get sucked into the downtown vortex. And... Uh, the, the orders seem to be smaller, lower tips. So that's my general consensus. Kind of fun to do those out of zone areas to keep you on your toes, but let's go over what, how we did tonight. Okay, so that is uh, tonight. So we did eight orders total. Uh, the total was $65.32. So we've gone over all those orders already. Um, we drove 112 kilometers. So basically for me to get downtown and to, for me from my house to drive downtown it takes 25 kilometers so we had about 50 extra kilometers on tonight um, if we didn't do those kilometers we would have been about a dollar a kilometer so you can look at it a couple different ways and with gas being where it is right now it's about mid 80 cents uh, a liter uh, we probably spent about uh, ten dollars on gas tonight so made about fifty five dollars minus taxes and all that kind of stuff so Anyways, guys, that's how we did tonight. So it was fun, uh, a little bit different. Um, tomorrow night, Friday and, and Saturday, if I end up doing those shifts, uh, they're in the south. And then I changed my availability for next week to be just in the south. So we'll see how that goes. But uh, it was a fun night tonight regardless. So um, if this is your first time here, guys, and you've, if you made it this far, you might as well hit that subscribe button down below. Also, don't forget to give the video a thumbs up. And um, when you hit that subscribe button, don't forget to hit the bell so you get notified of when I release new videos. And uh, last thing, guys, is we do have a Facebook group called The Lighter Side. I'll throw a screenshot up here. Uh, feel free to join the Facebook group. Just have to find it and hit uh, join the group and uh, we'll add you in. So that's basically it, guys. Thanks so much for tuning in. Have a great day, great evening, wherever, whenever you're watching this, and we will see you next time.